All right, welcome everybody. François at JDR D30, and this will be an unboxing video. Probably some advanced fighting fantasy stuff. Yes, I got crazy lately. Uh, three new books came out. You know, I already got them in PDF, but you know, PDF, I don't really much read them. You know, I, I prefer to have them in print. Uh, so yeah, recently they went on print on demand on Drive Through RPG. So I was very glad that it came in that format. So I will, I could read them occasionally. Uh, you know, I, the PDF are cool. You know, when I want to work a new document, let's say uh, I have a spellcaster who uses a spell from one of, the, one of the book. You know, I can copy the text and make you know a special word document for the. the you know what I mean, okay? I can give the rules, specific rules of some of the characters that way. So PDF are very cool for that, for text searching. But I really like to have the print version. So let's open this box. Three books, in fact. You know, there's never been that much book for this game. And I will make a, a small flip through of them, of course. So, oh yeah, this looks very nice. Three books. Oh man, one of them is quite big. Okay, let's begin. Rough Guide to the Pit. We can recognize the classic advanced fighting fantasy look. Rough Guide to the Pit. Uh, by Andrew Wright, who wrote, uh, I think, uh, one of the other monster, um, not out of the pit, but the, the other one. I don't remember the name. <laughs> Is it behind me? Out of the pit and beyond the pit, yeah. So, for the first time ever, we bring definitive guide to the pit, the realm of demons and undead. Right, so... Oh, it's okay. It's something about demons. I'll make a flip through after that. I will just uh, City of Orion. This one makes me. This one uh, makes me very happy. In fact, because uh, when I will be able to make a campaign in Advanced Fighting Fantasy, this will be the big city around. This is one of the capital city of the continent of Cool. And uh, I already, you know, I always, I always felt that Kul was quite an interesting continent. Uh, the feel of the continent is a little different, uh, or Oriental in some ways. Okay, makes me think of one of my favorite book series of all, uh, of uh, you know, of all. You know, okay, the La Quête de l'Oiseau du Temps. I feel that I can make the feel of that. Uh, graphic novel series uh, into coal continent. So Orion, I'm very glad to have a, a book about that. I already made a game using Orion, but with you know the small informations that were available. So I kind of fudged it up. But uh, yeah, it's cool to have something you know to read about this city. And another monster book, Return to the Pit. This one is quite big. Sometimes the pit sends something back. Okay, we can see that uh, may maybe there's a typo, but you know maybe a, a small. Okay, you can see again uh, the words are cut here, so maybe the uh, graphic. You know, it, it's not centered. Well, I, I won't complain beyond that. You know, um, but the 250 monsters, 35 encounter tables, new treasure. Rules for riding animals, rules for familiars, a new skill monster door, six new hero archetypes, that might be handy. New rules for daily magical fluxes, hmm, I don't know what is, this is, in the ultimate monster index. I like it when, uh, you know, a, a role-playing in company kind of update uh, their stuff through new source books, okay, with Oh, if I can have crown coat. Hi, Sébastien. I will, I will, salut Sébastien, vais te montrer mon dos. I will show you the back. <laughs> okay, why it's so hard to for me to turn is because I'm sitting on a piano bench, okay? <laughs> so, um, okay, so, 
read that. I aim to misbehave. Now it's done. <laughs> okay, so return to the pit. Hey, there's lots of cool stuff in that, in fact. Yeah. Okay, um, let's flip through, okay? <laughs> I'm very excited. You know, uh, I didn't have a budget to buy new books, but yeah, it's an advanced fighting fantasy, so I go crazy when it gets like that. I think the only thing I won't buy for advanced fighting fantasy so far, that it's not in my plan, because I like, you know, for now, the game that I kind of try to get all the books, it's the French and English version of Advanced Fighting Fantasy. But I'm not interested in the adventure book that much, okay? Uh, because I have other ideas than running a pre-made adventure. And Stellar, uh, Stellar Adventures, the science fiction version of Advanced Fighting Fantasy, um, just the core book, I think, has enough information to make me happy. There's other books that came out uh, detailing some sort of a space region, but um, maybe I have them in PDF anyway, but for me, it will be to run that. Because Sebastian is there, I will show it, but uh, I will show it to the world, RPGS2. So... When I'll use Stellar Adventure, it will be to you. It will be to use RPGs too. I feel that uh, Stellar Adventures really fit the feel of RPGs. Well, yeah, uh, Traffic of Kelter, the Rings of Kelter, Sebastien. Um, uh, it's all one of my thing I want to do on my channel would be to read the book live. It will be in French, of course, but uh, to you know to sit down. Let's make a character, okay, and have people vote. <laughs> if, if no one's vote, well, I, I will choose. Okay, let's flip through Return of the Pit. So, lots of new monsters. The monsters are very cool in advanced fighting fantasy. You know, they are very mortal. They, 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 they're very dangerous. Big introduction. Okay, that was written re recently. I'm really looking forward to to uh, check that monster lore. So they're kind of making some, um, you know, so, some case with the the knowledge of the monsters, which was not a skill before. Well, I guess you could you could have figured it out, but uh, there, there's more detailed rules for that. Steeds and riding animals. Okay, uh, more detailed rules about that. Yeah, okay, I'm very curious to see how they kind of made it into that game system. And familiars. Yeah, well, yeah, familiars were in detail before, so they are there. Okay, a couple of archetypes, new characters if you want to play right away. The Creatures of Titan. Okay, so we have, okay, the classic layout of creatures with the classic type of illustration was this is alligator so i guess there weren't any alligators before if it's there um animated object astral sayer exas i'm curious i would just want to see something uh giant beetle because mm, is it just a catalog of every monsters did I buy something that I already had in other books? Okay. Uh, what? Okay, well, just uh, Chaos Steed. Oh, look at this one. The Chaos Steed. No, I never saw this one. <laughs> that is typically fighting fantasy type. Okay? Kind of twisted creature. Um, Chimera. Lever, Chongui, Cloud of Chaos. The Cloud of Chaos. You won't, you don't want to face the Cloud of Chaos. Well, 11 skills, 16 stamina. Magical creature. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. There's so much crazy stuff. I think the craziest... You know, the craziest version of what you know, but just to the limit that it's still fantasy, you, you will find it in the, the, the world of Titan. Oh, yeah. Elephant. 
Oh yeah, looks like a scene in uh, you know uh, Lord of the Ring, the elephant. Um, familiar, familiar. Okay, and uh, oh yeah, familiar. That there's a big table for familiar. So lots of details, I guess. Uh, really looking forward to how it works. And folk fireworm. Okay, so we have mon lots of monsters just flipping through them rapidly because I don't want to go through all of them now. You have to read them yourself if you want to buy the book. Okay, thank you. so Kirin, lightning creature. Oh, the lightning creature. I like it. Lightning creature. It's a nostile creature. Okay. <laughs> I have a good memory, but only memorize battle plans. <laughs> I think I will make a campaign trying <laughs> trying to work with elephants <laughs> just to see how it can uh, how what what will happen in fact in the game. Okay. Um orc? Of course there are orcs. Ah oh, yeah, but they are a different type of orcs. Yeah, I like that. You know, you have the mountain orc, you have the sea orc. No, not the fish, okay. This is a an orc, okay. Uh, sniffer orc. What is a sniffer orc? It's from coal, so coal. I'm very happy to have something from coal. A troll orc. Oh, poor troll orc. Okay, no, lots of crazy monster. Okay, I just can't unhook myself from this game every time I look at one of those books. You know, I look at the monsters. Yeah, man. Man, man, man. Uh, oh, this one is very fighting fantasy style. Look at this one. A Shadrach. Figure it's hostile. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, just uh, right. Uh, say so much monsters. Treasures. Okay, so stress on treasures and counters table for every type of region, you know, towns, a volcanic area, wilderness. They, they're all placed like that. And the ultimate index book. Like I said, that is something I really like. Oh, and okay. Okay. The, you have the name of the monster. Okay, you have the name of the author that created it, probably from the and the author source. Like, for example, I'll take one. Um, okay, I will think. Okay, well, there's animated object, armor, an animated armor that was created by Jan Livingstone. So, yeah, the big master himself. And from City of Thieves, that is, in, that is ultimate. You can have a clear idea of from where it comes from. Oh, that's very cool. Very, very, very cool. Man, there's so many monsters. There's 1,055 entries. So you have 1,055 monsters to choose from. Remember the last game I really did for Advanced Fighting Fantasy? No, one before, but the, the one that, you know, was played out of a one-shot. I had so much fun flipping through the book and fighting the right monster to... And I found out very interesting monsters to fit into the dungeon I have prepared. So much fun. While being a monster, let's go with Rough Guide to the Pit by Andrew Wright, the same author as the last one. Flip through that. So we'll have a Gazetteer of the Pit, You Demons of the Pit, a random plane generator, and counter table, further gods of evil. Oh, new gods of evil. Okay. So you have, okay, no. Yeah, it's like the Medal of the Plains. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have that. The Plains explained, the Plain of Blood, the Plain of Bile. <laughs> I don't know, okay. Don't give me ideas like that. <laughs> the Plain of Bile. Oh, man. The plane of hiker, the plane of obsidian, plane of the plane of pain, the plane of pain, man. 
It's not okay. You won't play my little pony into that game. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, the plane of steel. I'm sure there. You know, I'm sure you will find some heavy metal bands like that. You know, like uh, Judas Priest and Manowar. <laughs> In the, in the plane of steel new demons of the pit so and so so demons oh man why i don't play this game right now why why I, we have a come a near archie of the pit okay well can 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 that this can give some ids some demons oh yeah okay just because it says fighting fantasy i have to show an image on the type of monster this is look at this one it's a style okay <laughs> why do i look at that i know some plain and yeah okay the 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 the, the, the random generator it's very fun to 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 use um and you have a, okay you have some type of a sheet to yeah that is sick a sheet for creating your plane man why i don't play this game <laughs> encounter tables so yeah because you can randomly encounter a demon further gods of evil and that is cool because uh well being a priest in advanced fighting fantasy which will be the subject of one of my official advanced fighting fantasy video i really like the way priests are handled uh because uh well they don't have a plethora of powers like D, &D or the like okay they, they are they have just a small amount of powers which are very efficient and very tied to uh the god they are serving and it really encourages the the player to 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 veneer the god you know to to to, to pray for it and uh, as a game master i'm nasty with that but uh, if let's say uh, the cleric has the power to heal but he's healing someone that is praying an evil god let's say and uh, and is acting e in evil ways he won't be healed okay because why the god would heal him okay so we have some new gods i don't know where they're coming from is it the creation of the author or if they were introduced in some fighting fantasy books because of course fighting fantasy this is a big collection of book but i feel that in the role-playing game they got further than what is presented in a fighting fantasy uh, game demonic familiars i won't tell some players about that they will want a demonic <laughs> familiar well so um yeah big ear archie and demonic index and and yeah that is cool if you want to be precise with demons um there's all the demons from the different monster books okay out of the pit okay demonic creatures and the undeads you know you have the demons the magical creatures undead and some other crazy stuff and then you have beyond the pit and then you have return to the pit the new book okay it's really up to date and demon of doom that i've made an unboxing or flip through or in recent time man and rough guide to the pit well which is this one so you have an index of all the demons i like it i, I like the way um, orion games really treat their book okay this is a very straightforward presentation okay it's not the most artistic presentation ever but it's quite efficient it, it it works with the tone of the type of game this is in the, the this looks like an old school game and uh, but uh, they, they they really are up to date you're you're buying the newest book well you have all the information and then that's the last portion of this long and uh, joyful flip through and unboxing travels in orion like I said when I showed it on the uh, on the start of the video, uh, is that uh, when I'll do a real campaign of advanced fighting fantasy, probably in French, 
if you fantastic okay it will be in the continent of coal and orion is the biggest city in there they say that wow what is this name oh man my memory fails me but the the ruler of black sand in alancia is native from this city uh so very interesting place coal by the way so yeah we well some maps to show you this is the continent of coal this is the region and you have orion right there i remember that i've made you know a small campaign that was going in the forest over there introduction we have the story of the place history all right the war against chaos which is a big event uh yes there's a yes uh, sean there's a complete map uh of the setting uh even i just i'm just looking around because i know that i have it somewhere near i would have shown you right there I even have the French version of the map, which is awesome. It's in all in color. Uh, there's three continents, okay? Um, I will try to answer Sean's question, but in the first book, there's a complete map of uh, all the regions in Advanced Fighting Fantasy. I think that uh, it's, a, it's a big world. What I love about Titan uh and is the map growing or is it fi finalized uh the way i see it i don't have the exact information but uh the map itself uh has lots of free space in my opinion okay how the map was born on the first place uh fighting fantasy when it was created uh in 1982 with the warlock of firetop mountain wasn't that there wasn't any world okay they created uh, the lore of the book for the book itself and then they published a second book with uh, all other story that wasn't related okay they created the story and the lore okay so after a couple of books okay uh, that were that weren't unrelated at all at some point they decided that well uh, there there was this big success around advanced fighting fantasy from what i have understood from my research and at some point they uh, hired someone which the name uh, escapes me but i think it's the one who wrote titan let's get a book from the shelf mark gasquin okay that this is the guy and mark gasquin uh was hired to try to make something out of all the books that were out and make a world so yeah a little like uh you know the miss tara campaign in dnd which uh began with unrelated modules from the basic dungeons and dragons and then they just made a map of it so is it still growing well this is the map you can it's available on the Okay, you have, um, this is Alantia, this is the old world, and you have coal, which is my, okay. Uh, lots of free space. That's why I love this setting, because the tone is already there, okay. I just uh, inspire myself from the tone itself uh, of the game, and I just let myself go. I don't feel, uh, I, I don't feel restrained by how the world is. I can create a city if I want uh, on that continent. Okay, there's lots of free space. I think, uh, I think, you know, the author of the different fighting fantasy game books, because there are still some fighting fantasy game books still coming out from the original authors as much as other authors. And, you know, they, they have plays to to put their stuff so yeah that is that is what advanced fighting fantasy is to come back with orion um yeah you have okay, standard uh, map of the city yeah that's cool okay uh, in you know theater of the mind you don't really need a map but it's fun to you know to unfold the map in front of the players and yeah oh you are going there okay and uh, yeah so you have all the details of uh, 
different people some of the districts which are more explained than detailed as what i can see right now i'm looking forward to see uh, how much detail there is are the cities all ancient or remodeled De yeah depending on the continent okay let's talk about the world of titan uh the old world is old okay uh is old but it's a very the most civilized world in the continent of titan you know the, the kind of maintain the quality of what was made it may looks like rome in some sense um as for call it was quite uh, it was quite uh, destroyed by the the chaos uh, the war of chaos that happened a couple hundred of years ago because that's where it came from the center of the continent is uh, covered with gray ashes because the chaos came from there so uh, this is quite a savage type of a continent you know orion is probably the most uh, structured place in the continent of call as for Alencia, Alencia uh, was quite affected by the war of chaos. It came over there. And I don't remember the, the name of the city, but the famous city of Black Sand that was introduced in City of Thieves. Uh, the, you know, the Black Sand was built upon the ruins of an ancient, very big city, very advanced city that was there and destroyed by chaos. In fact, the war against chaos was won on that uh, city. Uh, humans were surrounded by the force of chaos, you know, orcs and all the likes, you know, the, the big cliches. And uh, the dwarves and the elves uh, decided to join the battle to repel the enemies. And they won, but uh, with lots of loss from on their side. So... Yeah, evil is still there, but at least it's not uh, pressing as much as it as it was. So Alancia uh, is quite an untamed world, even though this is the continent where most of the fighting fantasy game books are being uh, played. Okay, if you look at my shelf, this is my fighting fantasy game books uh, collection. Some of them are missing because I I borrowed them. You know, I I borrowed them to uh, to a friend. But, you know, all up here, this is uh, what was so far, maybe one of, maybe I missed one or two, but this is Alancia. Here you have the old world, and I think the couple of there is a uh, call. So, yeah, you just, just by seeing the, what was published by, with the game books, you can see that uh, Alancia had a lot of attention. This is quite a, a wild uh, continent. Probably the favorite one because there's lots of stuff to discover in there. Call is a little more dull, but it's still... Um, the humans are there, the base race. The lore of Titan tells that the humans were created last. The dwarves and the elves came before. Though the humans are everywhere, okay? So maybe considered as the base race um if you look at the basic game if we look we look at from the game perspective um when you create a basic character okay from the core book you have the three basic race which are humans dwarves and elves of course uh, the book uh, the book offers opportunities to play other races they are you have the recipe to take any race intelligent race of any monster book and you have the very efficient recipe, in fact, to create your own race. Uh, nobody fires. Human as a bonus in lock. You know, you have three stats, skill, uh, skill, stamina, and luck. They, are, uh, they have more luck. The, like dwarves have more uh, stamina. Elves as an automatic magic point and uh, it also they also have different you know uh, modifiers for their skills so it's not a uh, humans are not vanilla okay they have their own sets of skills yeah yeah well no the, the elves are quite older you know they, they, this is a, an older race 
uh, yeah, it's, I don't remember. I, you know, I've read it in Titan, but uh, you know, the the new ones kind of came last. Day. They were kind of a elves and dwarves. It was quite some sort of an harmony. Uh, ah, yeah, I remember. I remember. Okay, humans were created by I, a god that I don't remember its name, but it was kind of a trickster god. Okay, the humans were kind of a joke. Okay, because he, they, 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 but I don't remember why, but I remember this was kind of a joke. Okay, humans were put there to kind of disturb the elves and the dwarves. Okay, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Um, what else? I can't really figure out how this world. Monster that the oldest one in advanced fighting fantasy. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, that's something I read a long time ago. The monsters that they are the olders. I'd say the demons. Um, humans are more violent. Um, I don't know than elves these days. Uh, Elves are, are quite crazy in advanced fighting fantasy, I'd say. Um, by the way, if you someone is watching this video around another day than when it was live, because I'm responding to my friend Sean. <laughs> so, yeah, demons, I think demons are a very old race. Uh, there's a quite a the lore is quite interesting in when it comes to gods and pantheons. Um you know that the, 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 there's a big story. The, the guy I told you about, Mark Gascoigne, who was trying to make sense of the fighting fantasy game books, came with a nice story about how gods, you know, they, you know where uh, can how can I say it? Um, well, the, the disagreements between gods became, you know, big. Uh, big session, they, they, they became big enemies. Um, I'm just flipping through uh, Orion outside of the city. Oh, well, oh, okay. Uh, uh, we have the street directory. I like that to see what, where is the that, uh, you know, where, where is that shop and all the like. Let's say I'm very excited by advanced fighting fantasy. Humans are the most mortal still. Uh, their lifespan is what you can expect from Dungeons and Dragons. Let's say they have a short lifespan compared to dwarves, which is longer, and elves, which is way longer. Um, something to know about this world something that i like something that i remember from reading those books it's not necessarily high fantasy and how can i say it the world is not clean people are kind of crazy in advanced fighting fantasy okay they there's no black or white everything is kind of great okay yeah you can have people fighting for the good side or bad side but everything is great okay um people are kind of crazy well this was quite long i hope you've enjoyed it but uh, i will finish this video uh by saying that uh, eventually i will play this game i love it so much i love the lore i love mostly everything about it so this was a big unboxing and flip through of my three new books that will make my shelf look more nice. So, my name is François Le Tartier, Barter Town, Man Max. Kind of. Especially Call, my favorite continent. So, thanks, Sean, for, for seeing that. Thanks, Sebastien, who was there on the, uh, on the first few comments. So, and everyone who has watched. My name is François Le Tart, then up to next time. I hope you have as much fun in your life as in your games. I will stop the recording now.